Um, well, I'm Joe Montroy, and um, I'm at the Andres Institute uh, here, and I'm in the process of um, making an aluminum whale, and it's a cast aluminum whale. Um, and so what I've done here is uh, I carved the original out of foam, and I did that because foam is kind of easy to carve, and it's a nice way to, to shape and, and make a nice big form quickly and light. And then I used uh, sand with a special chemical that makes it hard. And so I, I made a mold of the original uh, foam. And, um, and now I'm in the process of actually melting the metal down and uh, about to pour it. So you, know, you can see this. Uh, I made a little uh, furnace or kind of like an oven on, on site to, uh, to melt the metal. And there's a big uh, clay and graphite pot or crucible inside the furnace. Uh, and right now it's, it's, it's getting up to temperature and it's melting down a, a lot of scrap metal that I got from the scrapyard and uh, making it into uh, a molten aluminum. So it's just a, a forced air uh, propane burner. Uh, you can see the blower there and that's what's making the heat. That's what's generating the heat inside the furnace. Uh, these are some of the molds that we poured yesterday. So I, most of these molds are, are two-part molds, and so that means that there's a top and a bottom. And they're formed with a, a little bit of space in between the two parts, and that's where the metal flows. And you can see that I've taken the top part off of these molds right here, so we've revealed the casting that's, that's underneath. And this is actually the inside of the casting. The outside is the, the part that's down right now that we can't see. So this is going to be the interior, and all of these separate pieces will be welded together to form one big, uh, one big form or one big sculpture. The metal is poured into this. Right? There was sand around this, a sand tube, and it flowed down in between the layers, and that's where you left. Now this is the this is the mold that we're going to pour today. You can see this is the this is the big cup or the big tube where the metal is going to flow into the mold, go down, and if everything works properly, it should rise right up to here and we'll know it's full when it comes out of this hole right here. And that's kind of the, the process uh, in a nutshell. Hi, I'm Jeff Bissonette. I'm on the board of directors for the Andres Institute of Art. And I will be assisting him in the actual pour. I'll be on the dead end side of the, of the apparatus used to pour the aluminum. It's pretty exciting. Dangerous. Hopefully we'll have some more people here to watch it. That additive, yeah, that blue stuff. Um, the additive is to bring all the impurities to the top. I'm not sure what oh, the chemical is, is or exactly what it is, but uh, what, what it does is not real. It creates, a, it creates a boiling type reaction and it just flushes anything that's not in the aluminum right to the top. I think it's light enough right to the top and you skim it all off. Oh, 
Uh, we just poured uh, that big bowl uh, with the food, and uh, I think it went pretty well. Filled up all of the risers and vents and pretty smooth pour, so it's about all you can ask for. Now we'll wait a few hours and then uh, pop it open and see what we have. Hot. I'll have to. Yeah, this is my heel impression. Oh. Chasing the leak. I stepped right on this puddle. Did you now? Yeah. You're going to keep that. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm that. thinking that. No. My name is Pete Thorpe. I'm the Director of Volunteers here at the Andres. If you'd like to volunteer, please call 603-673-8441.